I don't tell people that I fast. Fasting should not be motivation based, okay? There's no, oh my God, like I wonder if today I'm gonna be able to fast. It's today I'm fasting because that is on my schedule. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about ADF, also known as alternate day fasting. And I've been gone for quite some time, but I am back with another video. And I thought that I would start off this, um, me being back on YouTube again with a Q and A. Um, I have a bunch of questions that I've received over my videos over the last couple of months. And I thought that I would take the time to answer them as you know, I get back into it again. So first question that I get all the time is about my fasting schedule and my fasting schedule. Honestly, you guys, I try to keep it as low maintenance as possible where I don't necessarily have to think about it. I just wake up and I do it right. So I fast Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So I'm not a traditional ADF or where I fast every other day. I have a set schedule, which I feel like that's what works best for my schedule. And that's what I've been doing for almost a year and a half now um, is fasting Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. When I say that I fast Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is when I go to sleep on Sunday night and I have my last meal, okay, I don't eat again until Tuesday morning. So I go to sleep Sunday night, okay, I wake up Monday morning, I don't eat anything the whole day, the whole night, and then I go to sleep again, and then I wake up on Tuesday and I eat my first meal on Tuesday. The next question is how tall I am. I am 5'5 five five and maybe a half if you wanna be generous, but yeah, I'm 5'5". Five five. Also, how much do I weigh now? Since it's been a while since I posted last on YouTube. So I am currently at floating between 155 and 150. My goal is 145, so I'm not too far off my goal. The lowest number I've seen on the scale since I started my entire journey has been 150. And I didn't take a picture, which... Like, I thought something was wrong with my scale, so I was just like, this this is a fluke. It's It can't be real. But 150 is the lowest number that I've seen on the scale. Right now, if I weighed myself, I'm pretty sure I'd be in like 154, 155 range. It doesn't really bother me as much just because I'm not too far away from my goal. And right now, I feel pretty comfortable in my weight and like how my clothes fit me and how I look. And <laughs> a lot of people ask me like what my motivation is um, for fasting. And honestly, it's it's vain. It's vanity. It's how I look. It's how I fit into my old clothes. Um, I've my weight gain kind of happened really quickly over like the course of uh, a year and a half ish to two years. Um, so a lot of the clothes that like I was that, that I've been wearing all my 20s, they're still there and just not being worn. So for me, my weight loss was based on I just want to get into my old clothes. I hate having to buy new clothes all the time. I hate having to um, I hate. I got interrupted. I don't know where I was, but I was saying that my reasons were very much for vanity. I just wanted to fit into my old clothes and I wanted to feel like myself again. Um, health wise, that's obviously a big benefit, but like my main motivation was just not having to buy new clothes all the time. It was getting real old real fast and things are expensive. I just want to be able to fit into my old clothes. <laughs> okay, the next question is, um, I have my little list here is about what I do when I come off a fast. Okay, you guys, if you've not watched my previous videos, if this is your first time landing on my videos, I do not have a diet. I don't have a way that I eat. I don't have a specific way that I follow because, because not eating three days a week is restrictive. When I eat, I don't wanna feel restricted. I don't wanna feel like I can't eat certain things or I have to watch what I eat on with certain like carbs or like how much I have to watch how much sugar I'm eating. I just eat how I feel like eating. And I know I've been asked multiple times to do what I eat in a day, but like me filming like what I eat in a day would be so <laughs> all over the place because I don't, like like one day, one day I'll wake up and the first thing I eat will be like a bag of chips, okay? One day I'll wake up and I will have an entire dinner with like chicken and rice and an avocado and like, um little condiments on the side like kimchi and like some pickled ginger and like whatever whatever i'm in the mood to eat in the morning that's what i eat i don't eat a traditional breakfast and i don't eat traditional breakfast times either because i just don't get hungry in the morning um and this is now getting into other questions but i don't typically get hungry in the morning when i come out of a fast so like for example today's thursday when i'm filming this video right yesterday i fasted um i didn't eat breakfast today until like after 10 a.m or i think it was even after that 
maybe even like mi uh, midday-ish because I just don't get hungry. So my what I eat in a day is kind of like all over the place because there's no two days that look the same. But if you guys really, really do want that, I can make a what I eat in a day series where I kind of film myself over the course of like a Tuesday and a Thursday and I show you guys what I eat because me filming on the weekends is just not going to happen. I will definitely forget and and because I don't do vlog style videos, it would be really hard for me to like remember to film every single thing that I eat, but I can kind of give you guys um a little glimpse into what I eat on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I feel like that's a little bit more manageable. Do I restrict myself on carbs is another question I get all the time. Again, nope, I do not restrict myself at all. I eat intuitively. I eat how I want, when I want, and you know, it sounds a little bit like when you when you haven't when you're not used to ADF, it sounds a little bit weird. Like, how are you able to maintain the weight loss if you're just kind of eating willy nilly and not really watching your diet? But you have to remember that I'm still fasting three days a week. And even when I say that I eat what I want, it's not like I'm eating like five burgers at a time. Like I'm not binging. Right. I'm eating what feels comfortable for me. And since the beginning of my journey, way back last year at the beginning of last year i definitely know that my stomach has shrunk significantly because i can't fit the same amount of food in my stomach that i used to be able to fit back when i started so what i eating what i want all the time there's still a limit to that and and the feeling of like wanting to binge and make up for yesterday because i didn't eat yesterday that feeling has gone away over time so now i don't wake up like ravaged super super hungry i wake up and i'm like all right well i feel like eating right now so i'm going to um i feel like eating a nice little breakfast so i will or i feel like eating some fruits when i wake up in the morning so i will or it, it means like i'm not gonna eat until like two o'clock in the afternoon because i just i'm not hungry so it's it's just become very very much listening to my body versus like following a schedule for when it comes to eating. The next question is what I drink on my fast days. When it comes to my fast days, you guys, I am back to drinking coffee. If you're new to my channel, then you don't know that I had gone on a, I had gone off of coffee for like, I don't know, like eight months where I was just not drinking any coffee, but I really miss the taste of coffee in the morning. So I'm back to drinking coffee. And yes, I do drink coffee with creamer and with sugar, okay? And do I feel guilty about that? No because i'm not gonna drink black coffee and i again i don't want to change what i eat so much because i'm already changing when i don't eat do you get what i mean so i don't want to change my coffee to make it like a ketogenic coffee i don't want to put butter and freaking the drops the stevia drops because i used to do that when i when i used to do keto i just want to drink coffee regular my coffee is like with a little bit of cream and a little bit of sugar and that's it and then the other thing i drink is i'll drink sparkling waters I drink those all the time. I actually have one here. I drink these, the Polar Seltzer Waters. This is a new flavor for summer, I think. Um, but I, I like to drink these, um, and then I'll just drink flat water. I have um, seen comments on my videos <clears throat> where people are wondering if um, what to drink if you're getting headaches, and I've seen people say that probiotic sodas really help, and also taking multivitamins really helps. Um, obviously consult with your doctor if you're or a medical professional if your headaches are really really bad and you know they're happening every single day but that's not something that i've had to deal with um in my entire journey i've never had to deal with headaches kind of along the same lines is i've had questions about um hormones about menzies about uh hair loss things of that nature and to be honest with you i haven't really noticed a change in my my menstruation i haven't really noticed a change with hair loss um, I haven't really seen a noticeable difference in how I feel um, because someone else asked if I'm super grumpy when I fast. I'm actually not. And the funny thing is, too, is that like, <laughs> I don't know about everybody, but this is my personal experience. When I come off of like a weekend, especially on Mondays, Mondays are my favorite day of the week when it comes to how I feel like physically. Um, not when it comes to when it comes to like going back to work and like taking the kids to school and everything else but like how i feel it's a cleanse day for me because i spent the whole weekend probably drinking probably overeating i probably went out to eat several times blah 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 blah. and like monday is a reset day monday is a day for my body to just like get rid of everything that i've been eating over the weekend and then when i wake up tuesday it's like almost that i wake up fresh again so i don't get grumpy when i'm not eating i don't I don't know if in the beginning when I first started I was grumpy, but now I'm not I'm not grumpy, I'm not cranky. 
um i actually feel really good on mondays because like i know my body is just like getting rid of everything that i've been holding on to over the weekend um the next question is have i ever stopped fasting yes i have i have taken off um uh, either two or three months from fasting at the end of last year and i gained back weight i gained back like 15 i think it was 15 pounds and that really sucked real bad <laughs> um and then i at that point i was like all right well i can't I can't keep doing this like i need to get back into fasting and the transition actually was easy for me to go back into fasting i just literally i just said i'm gonna start fasting on monday and i started fasting on monday um this is not a question but this is kind of like something that i do want to put out there for you guys who might be starting this journey fasting should not be motivation based okay it should not be motivation based it should be a schedule the way that you don't need to be motivated to wake up every day and go to work is the same way that you should do fasting. Okay, come go at it from that perspective. Like, it's not like, oh, I guess today maybe I should go fast. You don't ask yourself, oh, maybe should I go to work today? Do I, am I super motivated to go to work today? No, you just, you get dressed in the morning, you go to work. Okay, it's the same way that I treat fasting. It's either I'm doing it or I'm not. There's no in between. There's no motivation based. There's no, oh my God, like I wonder if today I'm going to be able to fast. It's today I'm fasting because that is on my schedule. Okay. Tomorrow I'm eating because that's what is on my schedule. I don't do it based off of motivation because motivation will fail you. A schedule will not. If you know you have to do something, you do it, right? So don't come from, don't think about it in terms of like, oh, like I'm, am I going to be motivated enough to want to fast? Just fast. Just do it the final question i think for today is do i skip days from fasting 1000 percent, i skip days from fasting let me tell y'all over the last like since like the summer has started um since it started getting nice out i'm pretty sure i haven't done a consistent week probably in like a month or two because on fridays i tend to go out to eat um, i'm hanging out with my friends i'm doing kids things with the kids with other kids and like we're all and whenever you do social things social things always come with eating and drinking so like i'm not going to miss out on these social things because i'm fasting and then also i don't tell people that i fast <laughs> i don't want the questions about why i am not eating okay so when i go out social events i eat i eat i drink and my fast ends at that time so like let's say friday night we go out to hang out with my friends it's after work it's probably like around like six six ish or seven ish guess what i'm doing i'm ending my fast at six o'clock or seven o'clock when i start eating again and so I, I just break my fast early and i roll with the flow um i don't try to alter my schedule in terms of like well because i didn't fast on friday maybe i'll fast on saturday nope that's adding that's doing math and that's making things complicated and i don't want to do complicated i want my journey to be as easy as humanly possible so if i skip a day of fasting it doesn't affect my other days i go right back into the schedule the next week or the next day so i don't try to compensate for when, for when i don't fast i just keep it pushing and i and i and it, it is what it is so pretty much since i last posted a video i've been following the same schedule things really haven't changed my weight has kind of like stayed at the same place that it was at at the beginning of the year. There was a time that I really was about to be in the 140s, but like that has not happened yet. So we keep it moving. But I'm very comfortable in where I am right now. I'm very comfortable with my weight. I'm very comfortable with how I feel. Um, and I'm very comfortable with my fasting schedule. I don't, it's not a chore for me to fast. It's just part of my routine. It's not, there's no emotions attached to fasting. It's either I'm doing it or i'm not which makes it really easy for me to just continue going um again today is thursday tomorrow is fast day so today i'm gonna it's a it's right around dinner time right now so i'm gonna go inside i'm gonna eat and then tomorrow i'm gonna fast and then saturday morning i'm gonna wake up have a pretty pretty much a, a big breakfast i try to have like a pretty extravagant breakfast on saturday mornings because i have the time um and then that's it i eat saturday sunday and then monday i'm gonna go right back into fasting so i try to keep it as low maintenance as human humanly possible so i'm not doing math i'm not doing calculations i'm not counting the hours i've been fasting i just know when i fall asleep today i'm not gonna eat again until saturday morning easy as pie that's it just a schedule 
anyways thank you so much for watching if you have any additional questions please leave them down below i'm gonna try and be a little bit more consistent on here just because i know that a lot of people have um been watching my content and you guys have questions and you want to just get more insight of someone who lives an everyday life that is doing adf because i'm a regular person i'm not a blogger i'm not a vlogger i am just a person who was sick of not fitting into their old clothes and um i decided to make a change Anyways, uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!